discuss uh, catheterization now. So make sure when you're doing a male follies catheterization, you have to rule out some contraindications. So make sure you ask the patient uh, if there was any recent trauma, if there is any scrotal hematoma, if there is any bleeding from external urethral meatus, and maybe patient has got any instrumentation recently. Right, so if these are the things, then try not to go for follies catheterization. Maybe you have to go for uh, suprapubic catheterization. Right, now what you have to do is you have to explain the procedure to the patient. You have to ask for exposure and chaperone and consent. Right, so what you'll be doing, how to explain the procedure. I'm going to put a thin flexible tube uh, in your bladder through your penis in order to relieve the symptoms, in order to uh, get the urine output. Right, that's the main reason. And we tell the patient to get undressed below the waist and uh, we'll be having the chaperone to ensure the privacy of the patient. We tell the patient to lie down comfortably on the bed with the legs slightly apart. Your patient might have some concerns like, is it gonna be painful? So what you can say is, uh, uh, we'll be using the numbing agent to make sure the procedure is not gonna be painful. Right, let's do it. Right, have a look what are the things we have got. Number one, uh, the mannequin, check it out if it is draped or not. Uh, if the mannequin is not draped, uh, you have to drape it. Make sure you are gloved when you do that. And uh, what else we have got? We have got steroid water. We have got normal saline. We have got anesthetic gel. Another thing we have got is the forcep. We have got uh, two syringes, one for the anesthetic jelly. Another one is for uh, your water, right? We have got the gauze piece. We have got the catheter. So you might get the catheter uh, which is uh, used or you might be having uh, the new catheter. We'll be having the urine bag, right? So the new catheter, if you're getting, how you have to deal with it? So what you have to do is you can open it. You can open it with non-touch technique. That would be better because you have to be very careful. It's a sterile station. This is not sterile discovering, uh, but the inside the catheter that is sterile. So if there, uh, there is a staff with you, you can tell the staff to open it for you. That would be better. Or else you have to do it, making sure you are not touching the catheter inside, right? You should drop in the kidney phase, right? And then we can dispose it in the waste area. Right, so now you have the catheter and uh, make sure you touch it uh, when the gloves are on right because this is sterile so what you can do is uh, before you start just take this covering off and then it's ready to use all right right so let's start so take your forcep and your uh, ghost piece put it here now we have to clean uh, clean the penis and usually we do it three times so with the gauze, you have to clean it three times. Uh, you can dip it in the normal saline or you can dip it in antiseptic, depending whatever you have been given. Once and then put it in the waste area. Now you get the other one. Same thing. Take it in the forza properly. Dip it in saline or uh, antiseptic. Clean once in the waste area. And one more time. Right, you can throw your uh, forcep as well. Now at this point, uh, what you can do is, as you have cleaned the penis, you can change your gloves as well, right? After changing the gloves, uh, what we have to do now, the first thing that you have to do is anesthetic jelly. So fill the anesthetic jelly in the syringe, warn the patient that I'm gonna put the anesthetic jelly and patient might feel a sting, like a cold sensation. So it's always better to warn the patient. Keep throwing things in the waste area and it's always advisable to wait for uh, a minute or two so that the jelly will show its effect right after that uh, what we're gonna do is uh, you can take your catheter and now you start inserting it again warn the patient that I'm gonna insert the catheter it's always good to warn the patient right let's do it and now what you can do is uh, you have to uh, pull this cover out as well at the same time. So insert the catheter, then keep pulling the cover. All right, so uh, make sure you push the whole catheter in. All right, and uh, 
Sometime like you will see maybe urine starts coming. Now we'll take uh, sterile water and make sure you put it from here. Usually 10 ml. All right. Then you can uh, uh, just tug it a bit. And the next step is gonna be attaching the bag. Attach the bag. Right, so you can note down the color, you can note down the amount of urine as well. Make sure you put the patient details and hang it on the side of the patient's bed. Right, and the last thing is uh, make sure you tear the drape as well. All right, thank you.